Hey there. So today I wanted to do a video um, kind of going along with the series that I had started on this channel quite a few months ago called Exploring YouTube. And I haven't put out an episode for this little mini series, I guess you could call it, for quite some time. Um, I didn't really... Well, let me explain the series. If you haven't seen the first two episodes I've done, it's where um, I kind of show you channels that I have discovered and that I enjoy watching, um, subscribe to, things like that. And I haven't really found any channels that I really thought were worth mentioning. There are some that I'm subscribed to, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do an episode on them and feature them or not. But anyway, I came across this channel that I'm going to feature in this video about two and a half months ago. Um, it was purely by accident. I don't even remember what I was watching, but one of the videos for this channel came up along the side recommendations, and I watched it, and I instantly fell in love with this lady. Um, if you don't know this lady, her name is Phyllis Stokes, and she runs a website called southernfrugal.com. I highly recommend that you go visit it. Um, along with visiting her channel, checking out her videos, um, and seeing what she's putting out there in the world. I absolutely love this lady. Um, she is in her late 60s, and she's been putting videos up on YouTube now for about probably five years, almost six. Um, when I looked at her first video, it was dated in 2012, so almost six years. This woman can do everything. She paints. She's um, sculpted. She fixes her and her husband's RV. She cooks. She bakes. She can recover chairs. She sews. Um, in all honesty, I can't think of anything I haven't seen her not do. Um, but I love this lady. She's very genuine. She's very kind. She's very nice. She's very honest. Um, I The first video I actually watched of hers was, um, I believe it was 1950s green lime jello recipe video. Um, and it just kind of spiraled from there. I just kept watching her videos and just kept loving each one more and more. Um, now, a majority of her videos are her cooking or baking. Um, and in fact, I went out and bought <laughs> index cards so I could write down some of her recipes that I like. And so I would have them. And then one day in a thrift store, I happened to come across this uh, vintage looking recipe box. And that's where I keep them um, inside this box on the kitchen counter. But a uh, majority of her videos are baking and cooking. However, she does do videos about growing up in the 1950s because uh, she was born in the mid to late 40s. So she has a lot of stories about her childhood growing up, what school was like, what foods they ate back then. Um, she also includes her uh, husband who goes by the name of Mr. Bucky in quite a few of her videos. Um, he'll tell some stories as well. They'll tell stories together. In fact, one of my favorite videos of hers, I highly recommend you go watch just to kind of get a feel for who they are. The video is called Our Story, and it pretty much tells how Phyllis and Mr. Bucky met um, and their life together, their children, things like that. But anyway, enough talking from me. I want to show you this amazing lady and... Um, you know, someday I would love to meet her and thank her for her videos and tell her how great I think she is. Um, now, she is down in South Carolina, so I don't know if that will ever happen, but it would be a great treat if it did. But, Phyllis Stokes, if you do end up seeing this video, let me just say, I'm a huge fan of yours. Keep doing what you're doing. I love every video that you've put out. Now, of course, I haven't watched all of them because there's like over 1,200 but I'm going to slowly make my, I'm slowly making my way through them. Um, but I'm a huge fan. I love what you do and keep doing it. But anyway, um, I'm going to take the camera off myself and let me introduce you to Phyllis Stokes. 
Hi, I'm Phyllis. Hi, I'm Phyllis. Hi, I'm Phyllis SouthernFrugal.com. Hi, Phyllis here, SouthernFrugal.com. Hi, I'm Phyllis SouthernFrugal.com. Last week, I had to start looking for a new computer. And we are out in the eclipse. And right now, the sun is behind a cloud, but it's also a partial eclipse right now. So we've got, let's see, I think they said 238 or 231. We are in Central South Carolina. I have not talked with y'all in a while. I haven't done any videos because I've been sick and um, I actually ended up with pneumonia. Okay, this is our little winter wonderland out in the backyard. Look at all the trees. So far we haven't had any limbs to break, which is great. We're going to try really hard to keep the jello alive. So we're going to make some blueberry jello today, or this, it's night, okay? It's not day. I wanted to continue the little um, talks we were having about grammar school in the 1950s. I guess they think it's nighttime. Yeah. Of course, the bugs are still out. I wish they would figure out it's night and they need to go night night. Here's the lesson I've learned in this. When you get tired, rest. I mean, if you're older, you don't need to be just pushing yourself on and on and on. Because Mr. Bucky and I both had the same little virus, but mine turned into pneumonia. His didn't. We're going to make some uh, lemon squares for Christmas. Today we're going to make some creamy butterscotch fudge. I'm going to make a strawberry upside down cake. Today we're going to make a marble pound cake. Today we're going, going to make some beef and bean burritos. Today for lunch we're going to have, this is a sandwich that is so typical southern and it's called tomato and egg sandwich. We're going to be fixing some um, chuck roast this morning. Hi, I'm Phyllis from southernfrugal.com uh, and Mr. Bucky's trying to talk to me from the den about buying something for Christmas. So I thought this would be interesting to let y'all hear the kind of conversations we have about gifts for Christmas. All right, I'm gonna go on in there now. Come on in here. I'll be there. We're going to go in there. Hold on. Okay, we're getting ready to have a discussion on uh, Christmas gifts, right? Yeah, yeah. I already know what I'm going to get you. All right, I'm going to turn the camera around. I already know what I'm going to get you. I'm, I'm going to get you, you. You said something about you wanted a box of chocolate covered cherries. Right, because I I don't, the chocolate kind of makes me hyper and I don't like to eat it so much but I can just kind of put it in my mouth, chew it up, get the cherry out and the juice, and then spit the chocolate part out. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. I, I'm gonna get you, I'm, I'm gonna get you a Whitman sample. Bucky, <laughs> I don't want no Whitman. That's all chocolate. I, I don't but, want that. Maybe that all that's good chocolate though. Yeah, but I don't ever eat it. You get a box and then you the one that eats it. Well, I mean, That's but, not like a gift for me. Well, but I mean, here again, uh, I think the Whitman sampler is good to get every Christmas. All right, so you, you go ahead and get me a Whitman sampler, and we all will know, and so is the rest of the world will know now that you're the one that eats it. Oh, well, what are you going to get me? Well, I don't know. You want a box of Whitman sampler? No, I, I, don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. All right, we are out at the car, and uh, I'm a little nervous, so Mr. Bucky is going to attach the battery thing so I'm going to show it while he's doing that so you want to say hello while we're hey how y'all doing all right so you're going to attach the red he was right. showing me this right. this is positive you see all right can y'all see that little plus that's the positive and so he's going to attach that and then he's going to attach the other one to the negative just over on the other side all right that was the scariest part for me attaching the battery he's going to start the car up now so we've got both of those little things attached today we've got a birthday and my husband is 75 years old and there he is all right 
<laughs> what have you got to say for yourself? Uh, that's a milestone, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Do you feel 70 pounds? Uh, sometimes. You do? Sometimes I do. Hi, I'm Phyllis from SouthernFrugal.com. Uh, I wanted to just do this little video to uh, give you an update. Uh, Mr. Wheeler has passed on. We found out at the vet today that uh, he had a massive tumor in his side and uh, uh, I guess it was pressing against his lungs and everything. Uh, he, uh, he just couldn't survive it. He just couldn't. And uh, so anyway, uh, Mr. Bucky and I buried him uh, beside our uh, dog, Grabo, who had died two and a half years ago. And uh, anyway, we'll see him in heaven. So uh, I probably won't be making any videos for a couple of days. I just need to get over this or past it. Uh, so I thank y'all for your prayers for him. Right now, I'm getting weary of this whole conversation. I All still, we've really settled is there's going to be a Whitman gonna sampler you, that's going to come you, from somebody. I'm going to get you a box of Whitman sampler. And we're going to sign you off with get, that. You